Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. Um, tonight, I thought I'd show you guys all of my World of Warcraft tunes at level 120. Um, in the next expansion, Blizzard will be squashing the level cap all the way back down to level 50. And during the next expansion, you'll have to level up your tunes from level 50 to level 60. So this is the last time that you know, I get to see my tunes at level 120, probably for a long time. So I thought I'd make a video um, showing all of my tunes at level 120 before the next expansion comes out. Um, because I don't know if they'll ever be level 120 again. I don't know why Blizzard is squashing the level cap. I, I don't know if, if, if they cannot count past level 120. I don't know what their deal is. But they're squashing the level cap back down to level 50. And I personally think it's stupid. Uh, and I don't think I'm the only one that thinks this way. But uh, uh, that's just what Blizzard has decided to do. And there's nothing we can do about it. Anyway. Um, this is my main tune, Jasper. He's a Frost Mage. I have been playing him since Vanilla. And um, he's pretty powerful. I've really enjoyed playing him through the years. He is the guild master of the famous Ultima guild. The Ultima Guild um, is the only guild in World of Warcraft history to recruit and maintain a thousand members for over five years. No other guild has ever achieved this and none ever will. And uh, because of that, uh, the Ultima Guild has become famous, has become a well-known guild because of that achievement. Yeah, but anyway, Jasper, you know, my main tune Jasper here, he is the guild master of the famous Ultima Guild. Okay, next we have my mage, Iceland. This is Jasper's daughter. Um, she is a Void Elf, Frost Mage. And I leveled her from level 20 all the way up to level 120, so I earned the achievement for doing that. And she has her um, heritage armor set. And I think she looks pretty cool. And I have her basically looking a lot like her dad. You know, so she basically has the same gear on, the same staff. But she actually looks good in this set because of her uh, bluish looking skin, you know, and, and her blue eyes, ice blue eyes. I think she actually looks good in this, uh, in this transmog. Okay, next we have my Warlock Degas. He too is one of my main tunes. Um, I created him way back in Vanilla. And, uh, I just really enjoy playing my Warlock. Um, He's a human warlock, a destruction warlock. Now, back during the Wrath of the Lich King, he was a demonology warlock because demonology back then was a lot more fun to play, and I think it was a little bit more powerful, too. But during recent expansions, I think destruction uh, warlocks are the most powerful. I think they do the most damage. So, uh, at present time, he's a destruction warlock. Anyway, this is my Warlock Vegas. He has the classic Warlock set on. I just love this set. It just looks so cool on a Warlock. This looks so cool. Okay, next we have my Death Knight, Delgathor. I created him during the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. 
Um, he's my main tank. And he was the first tune that I leveled up to level 80. Um, my Warlock Dagus, he was the second tune that I leveled up to level 80. And of course Jasper was my third tune that I leveled up to level 80. What I did was I quickly got my Warlock Dagus. I got him up to level 55. And that allowed me to create this Death Knight. <clears throat> And because he comes out comes out of the starting area at level 58, well, I thought, well, okay, I can get him up to level eight, uh, level 80 faster than I can my warlock and my mage. So I'll get him up to level 80 first, and so that's what I did. But anyway, he's my main tank, and I managed to get him this beautiful Death Knight set from the Uduar uh, raid. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And the sword comes from that raid too. And it took me years to get this set. This is a really nice Death Knight set. A really nice Death Knight set. Yeah, it's a beautiful set. But yeah, Delgathor is my main tank. <coughs> I use him for tanking dungeons and for helping the tank raids. Next we have my druid. Uh, I created her during uh, the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. Uh, she is one of my main tunes. In fact, she's my main healer. I think uh, druids are the best healers in the game. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, I love healing with her. In fact, I leveled her up from level 15 all the way up to level 80, I believe, or 85, uh, by healing five-man dungeon groups. That's actually how I leveled her up. And I was able to level her up, level her up really fast by healing five-man dungeon groups. And even today, once in a while, you know, people remember this druid here from back then. And they remembered how good of a healer she, she was. So a lot of times I have people asking me, Hey, we're fixing to do a raid or we're running this mythic dungeon. We could use a good healer. Would you be willing to heal our raid group or our mythic dungeon group? And I say, sure. What time you need me? And they, they tell me what time they need me. And, and yeah, my healer here, she gets invited into groups all the time because people remembered how good I was at healing with this druid. But anyway, she's my main healer. Uh, her name's Katarina, and yes, I named her after one of my favorite characters in the PC game, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. She was named after a Katarina the Wise, um, the vampire that brought Kristoff across. So anyway... This is what she looks like. Okay, next we have my shaman, Talon. Um, he's one of my PvP tunes. He started out as a as an orc shaman, and then I paid for a faction change and so he became a dwarf shaman and then I paid for another faction change because I like the white hair on the dark iron, dark iron dwarves so now he's uh, a dark iron dwarf shaman and uh, I just think he's so cool but yeah he's one of my main PvP tunes I think he's really cool looking he's got that classic set on I think this is a tier one set, if I'm not mistaken. And next we have Xantara. She too is a shaman. And she is also one of my PvP tunes. Um, now, I leveled her from level 20 to level 120. So I did earn the achievement for that. And I also 
got her her heritage armor set. So she has her heritage armor set. And uh, yeah, she's uh, one of my PvP tunes. And I just love her black hair with the flaming, you know, tips. It goes really well with this gear that I have on her, you know, that I transmog. You know, she looks really good with this gear. It's really cool. Okay, next we have my main hunter, Orionis. I created him back during, I think, Burning Crusade is when I created him. But he's my main hunter. And he has on perhaps the rarest chainmail set in the game. I think this is called the Bloodlust set. And each piece in this set has a drop rate of less than 1%. It's an extremely rare set. And you rarely ever see anyone, in fact, I've never seen anyone with the full set, I mean, wearing the full set, ever. In all the years that I've been playing World of Warcraft, I have never seen anyone wearing this full set. And to me, I think it's a really cool looking set. It really is. Um, also, he has the coolest looking gun in the game. Uh, and there's only one place you can get this gun. And that's from the Big Bad Wolf. And um, uh, that one raid, it's, it's that tower. The big, you know, like tall tower. I forgot the name of it. But it's a raid, and it's the big bad wolf boss, and he drops this gun, has a chance of dropping this gun. And I've always thought that this gun is so cool looking. It's just so cool looking. You know. Okay, next we have my monk Lo Wang, the Shadow Warrior. And yes, he was named after the Shadow Warrior, Lo Wang, in the PC game. Um, well, Shadow Warrior. <laughs> yeah. He was named after uh, Lo Wang of the PC game Shadow Warrior. It's one of my favorite games. Now, the swords that he has, um, the pattern to make those swords is a world drop. It has a drop rate of less than 1%. Making these swords some of the rarest swords in the game. And I think they look really good on a monk. I think they look really cool. Okay, next we have my paladin, Armino. He's my weakest tune. I've never really thought too much about paladins. And the only reason why I created this paladin was I want to have at least one of every class in the game. And uh, that's the only reason why I created this power. But as far as uh, how strong he is, or how good he is, or how much fun he is to play, he's my least favorite tune, and he is also my weakest tune. My other tunes would kick his ass with no problem. They'd beat the crap out of him with no problem. Trust me on that. I kill paladins all the time with ease. But I created one so that, you know, to make sure that I have at least one of every class in the game at level cap. Okay. Now, I'm wondering, you know, is that sword big enough? Is that sword that he's carrying, is that sword big enough? I mean, look how huge that sword is. I mean, oh my god. I think most of the weapons in this game are just way too big. They really are. They're big. They're gaudy. In fact, a lot of the gear in World of Warcraft is just ugly. I don't know who in the hell creates this gear, but it's ugly. It's got too much going on. You know, so, yeah. It's just too ugly. All right, next we're, we've got my gnomes. Um, we have my frost mage. Actually, she's an arcane mage. Uh, my cute little gnome mage Celeste. She's the leader, you know, the guild master of the Jasper's Elite Guild. And uh, she's an arcane mage. 
and I just look, think she just looks so cute and so cool and she's just so awesome. She's so cute. Alright, next we have my warlock Nicodemus. And yes, he was named after the final boss in the game Fantasy 3, The Wrath of Nicodemus. I've always thought that name was so was a cool name. It's just I always liked that name. So I named my little gnome warlock here Nicodemus. The Wrath of Nicodemus. Any cute? Don't, don't but don't let his cuteness fool you. He will kick your butt real fast. He will kill you real fast. Next we have my priest Iolo. Yes, he was named after Iolo of the Ultima series. Uh, he's one of my main healers. He's a priest. Okay, next we have my cute little gnome hunter, Orengo. Oh, yeah. Now, that gun, I think, is taller than he is. He's cute. Yeah, he's cute. Now, the name Orengo... It's an African name that means Big Game Hunter. And I thought that would be a cute name for a cute little gnome hunter. You know, he's a big game hunter. <laughs> okay, next we have my rogue clap. Um, he's one of my PvP tunes. Uh, he's famous for having the highest kills death ratio in World of Warcraft. He has only been killed in the battlegrounds or in PvP. He has only been killed six times. But he has tens of thousands of honorable kills. So his kills to death ratio is the highest in World of Warcraft. And because of this, he actually became very famous in the battlegrounds. Horde players hated going up against this rogue. When, when they saw the name Clap, they would literally run away. Oh yeah, I know how to play this rogue really well. Normally, you don't see me. You don't. You do not see Clap. And when you do, it's too late. You're dead. Yeah, I sneak around the battlegrounds to the point to where people have actually said that I was AFK. And I said, No, I'm not AFK. In fact, I'm stalking uh, some prey right now that I'm fixing to kill. You know, I'm not in any hurry because uh, part of being a good rogue is you cannot be in a hurry. If you're the type of person that you're in the hurry all the time, a rogue is not the class for you. In order to be a good rogue, you have to be willing to stalk your prey before striking. And sometimes I stalk my prey for you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes as long as over an hour before attacking. But when I do attack you, you're dead. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I will kill you with ease. I don't care what class you are, you're dead. And I got very good at it. In fact, one of the things I used to do on a Friday evening or a Saturday evening while drinking a good German beer or sipping on a good glass of wine or a good glass of brandy, you know, um, I would actually take my road clap here and I would go into Ogramar. Yes, you heard me right. I'd, go, I'd walk right in through the front gates in stealth mode and I would just hang around Ogramar. You know, with all these horde players and horde guards running around me just to see how long I can do it. How long I could walk around Ogramar in stealth mode before I was detected. And a lot of times, I'd do it for over an hour. A lot of times, I'd get bored with it and just leave, you know, hurst on out because, you know, I was so good at it. I was never detected. But that's how I got good. Because when I first started doing that, oh yeah, they'd catch me right out of the gate. 
But then I learned what to do and what not to do with my Rogue when he's in stealth mode. It's all about angles, angle of view. So even when he's not in stealth mode, I can actually remain hidden from you. Because it's all about angles. I'm very good at trigonometry and geometry. And I know that as long as I stay out of your field of view, you're not going to see me. Even when I'm not in stealth mode. You won't see me. So when I'm in stealth mode, oh yeah, that just makes it even easier. You know? And so that's how I was able to just walk around Ogomar like I own the place, being in stealth mode, and I was never caught. I got really good at being a rogue in stealth mode. And so when I go on the battlegrounds, that was easy peasy. You know? And, uh, oh yeah, I really enjoyed playing this rogue in, in, in the battlegrounds, especially the AV battleground. Oh my god, so much fun. Finally, on this server, the E-Trig server, I've got my Frost Mage Bionica, because she is Bionic. She's a Mechanome, and I leveled her from level 20 all the way up to level 120, and I earned the achievement for that. And as you can see, she has her heritage armor set. And she's an absolute badass. Um, yeah. I think she's pretty cool. Yeah, I think she's pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to switch servers. I have other tunes on other servers. I have one Alliance tune on the Shehalo server. And this is my Kilteran Shaman, and he too is one of my PvP tunes. Um, I leveled him from level 20 all the way up to level 120. So I did earn the achievement for that. And he does have his heritage armor set. So, yeah. But this is my Kilteran Shaman, Ignato. And I think he looks really cool with that yellow and brown set. I just think he looks so cool. And this guy is huge. He's about as large as, as like a, uh, what do you call those big bull looking horde tunes? A Torin? He's about as big as a Torin. He really is. He's huge. In fact, a lot of the doors in the game, like a lot of the doorways in the buildings, he has a hard time fitting through. I'm serious. He hits his head on the walls or, or, or the top of the door frames every time. He's huge. But anyway, that's Michael Terran Shaman, Ignato. Okay, let me show you my horde tunes. I have six horde tunes on Blood Scout. And Blood Scout used to be a PvP server. Okay. So, Kanina, my warlock here, uh, she's the leader of my horde team. She's a Blood Elf destruction warlock. And she too has this classic warlock set on. I think it looks so cool. Now the name Kanina is an is a Indian name for a female, and it means born of fire. And so I thought that would be a perfect name for a female warlock. Next we have my frost mage Caldwell. He's an orc, yes. You rarely ever see anyone play an orc mage. This is actually a rare uh, race class combination because usually people that play orcs they play them as as a shaman or a hunter or they play them as, as a, a warrior class you know something like that you really ever see um, an orc mage so I thought well okay that would be unique and he's very colorful he's a very colorful one of my most colorful of all of my tunes and I really enjoy playing him he's really cool and I love the way the orcs dance. Oh my god, I love the way they dance. 
They dance. Their dance moves are cool. Okay, next we have my shaman, <coughs> Folgar. He's a goblin shaman. And uh, he's one of my PvP tunes. Okay, next we have my rogue, Loran. Loran, the name Loran means thief. And so I thought that would be a cool name for my goblin, Rogue. Because after all, he is a thief. He is one of my PvP tunes. And I used to really enjoy having a ganking good time with him. That was back when Blood Scout was an actual PvP server. Yeah, I used to enjoy having a ganking good time with him. Next we have my warrior, Barlock. He's an orc warrior. And he has the, the beautiful uh, Blackrock armor set from the Warlords of Draenor expansion. Always, I just always love that set on an orc. I think it was designed for the orcs. It just looks really good on an orc. He's a Fury Warrior. So he has two, he's wielding two uh, two-handed fell iron swords, which I think they just look beautiful with this set, this armor set. They just look really cool. Now, Barlock was not named after the former president. Um, Barlock, the name Barlock means powerful warrior filled with love and hope. And I thought, well, okay, that would be a nice name for my orc warrior. He's a powerful warrior and he's filled with love and hope. So, so I thought, okay, I'll name my orc warrior Barlock. And last but not least, we have my demon hunter, Helen. And I never really liked the war leaves on the on the demon hunters because I think they're just too large. They're just too gaudy looking. I, I think they're ugly looking weapons. They really are. I think you know, with her small body, her small frame, that she actually looks better with swords. You know, single-handed swords, and they just fit her better. They fit her body better. They fit her movement better. Her fighting styles better. You know, she has the the Legion armor set on the set that you get uh, from the Legion expansion, and it actually I think it looks good on her. You know, it looks really cool. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I just thought I'd show you guys all of the tunes that I play in World of Warcraft. That I finally got them all up to level 120. Um, and I wanted to show all of my tunes at level 120 before Blizzard squashed the level cap back down to 50 in, in the next expansion. So, yeah. Anyway, my name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.